friends, it's me Deborah. Today I am going to speak a few lines about love. Now let's turn our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 to 8. Shall we? Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. So in this verse the Bible tells us that love is patient. So sometimes we, are, we do not have the patience. Love actually has the qualities like patience, kindness and it does not have any envy. It does not get jealous and it does not boast like I have this, you don't have that and it doesn't have pride. Pride like none of those bad things are in love. Love is pure. The love of Jesus Christ is very unbelievable. It cannot be explained with mere words. Next, next verse. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. In this verse, the Bible tells us that it doesn't dishonor others. Sometimes we dishonor others, we do not give them the respect that we should give them. The Bible tells us that we should give the respect. Then it is indirectly giving or showing love to them. And it also tells that love doesn't, it is not selfish. Sometimes we are selfish. But selfishness is not actually one of the qualities of love. If you, you think that you are very lovable make sure that you are kind you are patient you do not have any envy you do not boast you are not proud and you do not like dishonor others or you are selfish make sure that you are a very good person it is not easily angered sometimes we get very like angry and we shout at our parents, teachers and other people. But this, the, this refers that we do not have love towards them. If you really think you have love, try to meet every problem and circumstance with some patience, with some kindness, with some joy. Be happy all the time because God has made you happy. God has made you for a special purpose. And the Bible also says it keeps no record of wrongs. We do a lot of wrong things. But love doesn't do even a single thing which is wrong. So make sure that you do not do something which is wrong. Whenever you feel that you have to do something wrong, remember that God wants you to be a very good person and not a person who is the son or daughter of the devil. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Sometimes we always are happy with all the evil thoughts or we are fully or partially into evil. But love does not even give a single room or a single space to the evil. It hates the evil but it loves the truth. It loves the word of God. So make sure that you love the word of God, you love others. Be patient, be kind, be a very good person. Because that is what God desires in us. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love is always uh, protects us from every evil. It protects us from every bad thoughts and everything that, uh, that is bad for us. The love of Jesus is so, so big and you cannot tell it with your own words. It is a very, very special thing in this whole entire world. Even much more expensive or much more valuable than gold, silver, silver diamonds or anything else in this world. It always trusts and it has hope. Sometimes we always lose the hope or the trust, the faith in God. But love never loses hope, trust or 
the anything like the faith in God it is always there it is always strong it is forever the awesome thing love never fails but where there are prophecies they will cease when there are tongues they will be still when there is knowledge it will pass away here the bible tells us that love never fails love is something that will never fail in our whole entire life even though our friends and families and our best friends might fail us but love will never fail us when there are prophecies it will decrease and when there are tongues it will be still where there is knowledge it will pass away it will go away but remember love is important jesus or god wants us to show the love to everyone the bible says that you should love your enemies you should love your neighbors as yourself so thank you for listening to this video i hope that this short message would be much more in, in, inspiring for you Bye see you next time